Hi, it's the girl out there, right here with you, with Jessica Serrato. I love an introduction like that. So nice. Thanks, Cindy. It's so funny, though. <laughs> Whenever I, I don't know if you've noticed, when I talk about you on Instagram, and it always spells your name with an S. I know. <laughs> like, I'm like, I wonder if my name should be spelled like that. I wonder. It's so funny. I'm like, oh, Serrato. Um, anyway, okay, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to everybody. I know. I always am excited when you are here. And uh, there is a really big, exciting reason why we've come together on the podcast again today. Really big. I'm so excited. And you know me, and I think you're like the same. I can't keep a secret. So this oh. has been like, <laughs> I kind of let it slip a little bit of like, I have to say something, but now it's like, okay, it's time. It's going to feel so much lighter after we reveal it today. I know. Yeah. Okay. You get to do it. Me? <laughs> I get to do it. You see, now I'm nervous. This is like the energy, the universal energy is like, we really want to do something and we get right to the edge. It's like when you went bungee jumping, right? Like you get right to the edge yeah. and you're like, am I really going to do this? It's here. Yeah. But just... okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. So, okay. well, I'll start here and there's going to be a lot more discussion. We have really been feeling this pull and this call to support specific group of people in a very specific time in our lives when um, we need it the most. And so we have a really amazing and fun program that, that we are launching called Return to You, the Journey of Your Rebirth. Ta-da! So excited. Oh my gosh, I am really actually excited. <laughs> yeah. And I think like what excites me the most is we, and I think even more specifically you, because you felt it, you've already felt the power and the beauty of this transformation because you have just come through this rebirth. So let's start there. Like I just, now that, cause you felt it, like, what is like, why is this so important? Why, like, why are we doing this? I know it. Thank you. I just, uh, it's so interesting and we ha we're going to share all the information and I have a little video clip on, on there as well, um, which I talk a little bit about it and, um, and how, how interesting this time is this transformation time. Um, and then why we had this pull to come together to create this program for people. Um, and you and I both um, have probably had different times in our lives. You actually just posted about a time of in your early twenties. And I would say that was the same for me where, um, I went through time, noticed I needed to do something. I think because we are so engaged with our intuition, we do, um, really pay attention to that. Um, and so I'd had that in my twenties and then I was feeling it again. Um, this really uncomfortable feeling where I, where things needed to shift in my life. And um, I had already done a lot of self-work. Um, and I think that's important to say, because I think people might be drawn to this going, but I'm already doing work. I'm already doing stuff. And, or, or maybe they're not. Um, but there's this feeling inside you that something is off. And I had uh, energetically met you at that time around 42 43 and maybe 43, maybe it hasn't been that long. And I was, you, you said like, this is going to be coming up for you. You've got about a year and a half or whatever to, to note that at 45, your numbers um, come back energetically as they were when you were born. And you can speak more about this and yeah. in, um, but knowing that um, was so calming to me that I had this like second second chance. And, um, so I, I really spent a lot of time kind of going back into alignment with myself and we can go into detail. So I don't want to, we can go into all the detail, but this last year I was like, you know what? It's my rebirth. I am pregnant with myself. And I spent this time digging deep and visualize what a pregnancy would be like. So knowing that some months would be heavy and uncomfortable and some months would be beautiful and some months would really be like um needing to just rest and like down and having having a full nine months pregnancy was kind of what it was like and there were moments where you were saying like 
you know, you have a team around you, you know, you have people and hearing words like that were so great. And, um, and I will stop at this point so we can both be talking. Um, but I had this big rebirth. I had a big rebirth party. I really wanted to celebrate it. And, uh, and somebody had said to me after like, Oh, you so let down, like you had this year and now it's all done in one day. I said, Oh no, not at all. It's not one day. Um, I just know now I'm like a baby and a newborn. And I will now have another year or two in this new space of my new time. And so um, really honoring that I'm actually just learning to like open my eyes and seeing this new world and being very gentle still with my, I could cry because you know me, um, mm-hmm. but being really gentle with myself is this newborn of myself. Um, so I've been very passionate that I want people to be in this space for themselves because I've never felt so much like me. So I thank you for that because oh you showed me this. Oh, thank you. And this is what like I want for the world too, is because, you know, around this time, like this 42 to 49 year old age range. And of course you can be kind of, it's not so linear. It can be a little bit earlier, a little bit later is we kind of just stop and look around and be like, what is happening? Who am I? Am I like, I've molded myself so much or I've changed so much. And we, our brain, our mind tells us we want to change. This is like what society calls the midlife crisis. I want to change my hair. I want to buy a convertible. I want to like do this, but it's actually not about change. It's just what you said. It's about realignment, like going back home to you. And it's just so hard because sometimes we're not even sure who we are because we've literally come so far away from ourselves. And so that's what I want to like everyone to hear. This is not about changing yourself. It's not about transforming yourself. Um, you know, I heard something other the day that really resonated with me. Um, it was Morgan Harper Phillips. And she said, you know what? We ask ourselves so many times, what do I want to do with my life? When we can say like, what do I want to do within my life? Like, <sighs> right? Like you and I like are not here to tell everybody to burn it all down. <laughs> Even though sometimes we probably might feel that way, right? We have created this life with intention and purpose. And it's not about running away from this life and like going in a completely different direction. It's just like feeling more like ourselves in the life we have. And it just makes it like, I don't know, more joyous, more more easy, more peaceful. And you know, I'm a few years younger than you, Cindy. Actually, not a few. I can't even say a few. I think I'm like, what? But all this to say, I am in this journey as well. Um, and I can feel this tug. I can feel this pull. And I feel like this journey of our rebirth is an important one that all of us can go through. And then here's the difference. Would you rather go on this journey of rebirth by yourself or would you rather go on it with other people? I hope everyone is saying, with other people, please. (laughs) I hope so. Yeah, yeah. it's so true. Everything you said, so true. And um, it's, I mean, I think too, you're still doing your own work, right? But being able to reflect and bounce ideas off people. And, and to be honest, that was the scariest two years. Again, everyone knows I'll cry of my life. And people don't talk about that. Um, There are big things you're facing in that time. And whether it's leaving a job, leaving, do you leave a marriage? Do you make a move. It's like big shifts that I think come up in people. And like, what is this? And to not feel safe enough to talk to people. um, I, I, I guarantee almost everyone has those questions around the age of 40 to 
to 43, 40 or to 49. Like you yeah. are in this space of what is going on yeah. and, um, men and women. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so I know for me, that was really uncomfortably scary. <laughs> And I just, when you were speaking, it just brought me back to, I don't know if you felt this. I feel maybe other people will. It's like either like your time, like on a playground, this is just the time that comes up to me, but it could be like in your workplace. It could be in your family when you're watching something, like I'm watching my kids, like literally on the monkey bars and there are seven, eight other moms and dads, my age around there and everyone on the outside just looks like fine and inside I'm like watching my children and I'm like okay should I quit my like just what you said like I'm asking myself these these questions and it's distracting me not only from the present moment but I'm looking around and I just want to ask the other moms and dads or the other people in in that area like are you feeling this too but yeah. instead, what do I ask? I'm like, so like, what are you guys going to do today? Like, right. Yeah. We stay. So on the surface and I get that, like, I don't think anybody wants me to ask them deep questions yes. on the playground, but that's why we created this space is it's the time to be supported, not only by you and I, but by the other people in the journey, other people in the program of, you know, because we're all going through it in different phases. And so we can learn from people, you know, who are a little bit, it's not a hierarchy, but who are a little bit further along in the journey or who are just starting to like remind us to keep our perspective. Yes. Yeah. And I love that visual because I just, I remember writing about it that being out at a social function and you're keeping your face on, right? Just like, oh yeah, so that's a lovely thing you're thinking. And I remember saying, all I wanted to say was whisper, I am walking through mud (laughs) and just keeping it together, but not. And I I cry upon reflection because I'm so happy now, but thinking, because, you know, I will cry every day about everything, but you think, oh, like, I wonder how many people just, yeah, are all thinking that. Yeah. And so what we've created, we're so excited about, um, is a program that, uh, and we both, we honestly, how long have we sat with this? Oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) A long time. time. Yeah. Cause, uh, we like you, I think we, we both, we've discussed this, how, how we visualized a pregnancy and some people would rush into pregnancy and some people would think about it. Mm -hmm. And, um, so we were thinking of different ways. And, uh, when we really sat down, uh, we've decided to make this look like what we would want uh, a full rebirth to be. So Mm -hmm. it is going to be like that, a full nine month program. I know. And this just really excites me because, you know, this time, like you said it just the very beginning of this chat, it's like, there were times during this journey where you felt like, oh, like in the depths of it. And there were times, it was kind of like this, this up and down and it depended on where you were. And so it is a journey. It's not a straight line. And in the nine months, like we want to create space to give everyone enough time to feel into each unique Um, phase. And there are nine distinct phases, which we kind of have mapped out and discovered. And it's an intentional journey. The the difference with this journey, it's very intentional of allowing us space to kind of stay in each phase and time to process that with a lot of support around us. You know, I want to share, like, it's always laughing, like, we talked about this for so long and there were so many ideas that came and, you know, why a nine month program? We talked a lot about, you know, these retreats, which are amazing, right? When you get to go away for a couple of days, but when you get to go away, a lot of times what happens is you just get a lot of things stirred up, which is amazing. This is what we're wanting. And this is actually the first part of our journey together, right? And one in the first month, we're really becoming aware. And so this is what a lot of times happens. We have this awareness and then what happens? We get kind of like catapulted or shot back into our quote unquote real life. 
And then we find ourselves like unloading the dishwasher, now aware of something, but we're like, but what's next? Well, now we have the what's next. It's the acceptance of it, right? And then once we accept, we take responsibility. And then once we have, like, it's this beautiful, like, step-by-step process. Um, so you feel prepared for when this rebirth comes. Yes. I went on mute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like I think I, and, and honestly, um, and it's laid out, what we've laid out is that once a month we will be together for an extended period of time, a, a, like a mini retreat once a month, um, yeah, which is so exciting. So uh, that truly then you are forming a connection with the people together that it won't be on zoom. It will be with in person uh, together um, this once a month time. We felt that that would be uh, important. So we are definitely creating this uh, this time for people uh, to be here. Uh, so we know that our audience is going to be a little bit uh, different than what we've usually found. Um, but what you and I have both thought um, is what we, we want is that there is this true connection. There's going to be work that we're going to be doing together so that we know that when we're doing it, we're really committed that yeah. we are all saying together that this is, you know, because honestly, I can say this too. I can go in and do something and be like, sure. Yeah. And the homework is, you know, four journalings, yeah. two meditations, do this. And then what happens? Well, your kids say like, okay, I got to, you got to drive me to this. And then you're going to take me here. And then I got to do the groceries. And suddenly you slip out of, oh, right. I was going to do that journaling. I really want to get to it. So this way it's like, you know what? you are signing into this commitment and we are your rebirth doulas. We yeah. will be there with you, but you are really saying, I, you know what? I could, I could spend this money on Amazon. I could spend this money on this. I'm spending this money on me within and this return investment is going to be long-term. And the only way we could see this is that we actually have to all commit to some hours together I'm, ex I'm so excited. so excited. And you know, this is what I love about like, we have this in-person connection, this time once a month where we do retreat. And then there are other times during the month where we also connect online um, and we kind of nurture that connection. So there's like weekly group energy healings, um, which if you haven't experienced this yet from Cindy, you have to, this is, you know, and when we commit to this weekly, um, it kind of builds and it feels supportive. And just imagine yourself, like what, like when you commit to yourself uh, regularly, like, and you, I feel like I would just look forward to those days. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we also do readings, intuitive readings um, once a month where everyone can come together and share their questions and what's coming up for them. And, you know, kind of using this metaphor of the rebirth, we put together these beautiful birthing kits, right? Filled with um, both tangible items that will help you along this path, but also, you know, like numerology charts and meditations and, you know, journal prompts, things that you will have and create. Um, so just like Cindy said, when you get to this rebirth and you are now this newborn, you have the tools to support yourself mm -hmm. because, you know, we can do all of these things up into the birth, but we want them to be sustainable because we don't, this, this is not just a one-time thing. Remember, if we know this numerological energy is resetting at 45, well, we know it will continue like 46, 47, 48. So it's not just supporting you in this year, but it's supporting you after that. And, you know, we, I, I always laugh about this because, but I love how you and I are just on the same page. This is how we build our businesses, which is probably not like, you know, the best strategy, but we build our businesses in a way that empowers you to support yourself. So you do not need us. And that's also what this container um, is, this program is, is yes, it's nine months together. And in that nine months, you're supported in the present moment. But our bigger vision is for you to leave this program 
with everything you need to support yourself Mm -hmm. moving forward. Yes. And because when you feel that, that's the empowerment piece, right? And that's like trusting your own self, trusting your intuition, which is so important. Truly. And I, I, I just know that the, the, the people that feel like, oh my gosh, wow, this is it. And are called to do this. Um, like that, that group will be together, not only for that nine months, um, there's going to be so much work after, after you just know if you are connected and feeling this call from it, who knows where you'll go from it? Um, you know, you're you're going to have some Reiki uh, in there as well that you're going to learn. Um, the options basically it's like a it's like that glass ceiling, right? Or there's no mm-hmm. glass ceiling um, because I think I know even when this whole journey for me, well, the journey began when I was born, but and I needed all of it. But I think yeah. really when I started to come back to myself, even seven or eight years ago, um, I would have thought, oh, I'm just learning some things, or I don't really need all of that. And then you start to open and open and open and realize, whoa, there's so much. And, um, and then there's so much more, like it's, it's never ending. And, uh, and so that, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I think, I've heard some people saying like, well, I'm reading this book, so I'm okay. Or I'm just taking this one little thing, which is great. That might be all you need at that point. But then when you actually get that call or that pull, pay attention to it that, you know, maybe it's not the time for you at this point for certain people, but there will be those people that are like, I know this is what I am meant to do. And if that is you, just, just go with the pull. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am. I have nothing. I am speechless. There's nothing, yeah. <laughs> there is nothing I can add to that. Um, except like the, uh, I don't know. I just like you and I, this is coming like from our hearts and, you know, it is, I, and I will say like, this is, a new concept, something that, you know, you probably or might not have heard before. Um, there's not, like, you wish, like there's not an autumn. I just love like, you know, when you're five, like you register for kindergarten or all these things, right? It's like when you're 42, you register for the return to you journey of your rebirth program, right? Like, don't you wish we had this as adults, like these milestones of like, well, you have to register, you got to get ready for this. So like register, but this is, so if this is like a, I know, right? But if this is the first time that you're hearing this, like again, going against the strategy of business, like Cindy and I just want to make this feel super easy. We don't need to add any more stress in our life. And so this decision, and so we are both here if you want to have a conversation about it, to reach out, to chat with us, to really feel into like, is this the right thing for me and there's no rush right we're opening it up now for people like you said who are feeling it ready yes to go and um we're gonna keep it open until september right when we start we're starting in september going through until may um and of course there is bonuses like there is incentive to to make the decision early but it's not not a rush right it is um because this is one thing that you and I are both passionate about. It's a two way, like you need to be committed also. You don't need to be committed to knowing where you're going. You just need to be committed to the process, committed to like investing in yourself, to committing to yourself to say like, yeah, I love myself enough that I am going to make time for this. And I'm going to, um, not sure what's, where I'm going to end up, but I trust I trust it. And that also I know involves trust in us and trust in others. And sometimes that's a hard thing to do, especially at this like particular age, quite honestly. Yeah. Um, but also we just feel it's so, so important. You know, there's so much that you do for other people and now it's time to focus on you. Yes. 
And I think that's, uh, that's, that's the biggest thing I keep hearing is with us within is, um, yes, if you're, there is, there is no rush. Um, just like we had decided when we started to develop it is like, like pregnancy, some will be pregnant overnight. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> some will know right away and then just be like no I know it I need to do it and sign up others will want to discuss and think about it and uh, and think about it some more and that is all how we are uniquely us um, and so yes if you are feeling that pull that's why we want to have these 15 minute chats so that you feel more connected and safe with us as well um, if you want to get to know us and, and see who we are we we want you to feel safe in this space and um um, and have fun with it. And um, also know, because there will be times of vulnerability that you yeah. will, you will know that this is a safe place and a safe space. Um, and to, to have that time, um, we should just make maybe outline just so that we quickly get an idea of what those nine months will truly look like, just so people kind of, we talked about it a little bit, yeah. but um, so starting in September, we have um, every, so starting September to May, right? We have yep. every Saturday, we meet nine to 12. Every fourth Saturday, once a month. Every story. Oh God. Yeah. Every Saturday. Wait, what did I sign up for Cindy? Are you kidding? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, so every fourth Saturday, nine to 12, you got set that. for December. Yeah. And uh, then we'll be figuring something else for that. But um, so nine to 12, we have our retreat day. And then we have um, the Wednesday energy class, which um, you can look on my, um, and people who've heard this podcast uh, will know I talk about it, but it's just a 30 minute group energy healing Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. And um, we, we're offering that out. So you get one energy class every single Wednesday night that you can do on Zoom, you get cozy, you can relax in. It's a way for you to really get grounded with yourself and aligned. Um, that's more as like a, a really cozy benefit for yourself. It's beautiful and nourishing and so healing. And then, and then one um, Saturday of the month, uh, we will be doing the intuitive readings for you as well. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be doing every month, um, we'll be having the PDFs or things. You might be getting some extra PDFs throughout the month as well, right? Yeah, there's going to be a space online, a really easy to access portal where you will have the meditations, um, have the journal prompts, have the energetic calendars, have your own personal numerology charts, like all available to you in, um, but you can just access it. And I think that's really beautiful because, you know, it's not just any meditation. It's, you know, in the first month, it's specifically meditation on awareness. And then the second month, it's about, like I said, the acceptance. And so each month you'll be able to access this toolkit of what is meant for you in that time. And yet you'll also have access to everything that came before. Right. So sometimes I don't know if you feel this happening, like we're going, 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 and we maybe get to like the step four, step five, and then something from our past comes up and we're like, oh, let's, you know, like maybe I need a little bit more from that month three. And so everything will be there for you to access it. So although, you know, we will take you through these nine months, we know everyone will go slightly at their own pace and that's okay too right? You take as much time as you need. And that's a really cool thing. It's like, you know, those times where I don't know why this division just came in my head of like, you're learning to ride a bike and it's like practice, practice, practice. And then it feels like all of a sudden one day you can ride it. Right. So some months will feel like that too, where some months might feel a little bit faster for you. Some months might feel a little bit um, slower, but um, you know, and we, this in-person retreat time, we have some very powerful and impactful experiences for everyone to have. And also when we leave that in-person retreat space, you will be safe and supported to go back to your real life, right? Like we will make sure we, we take you there, right? We take you to that part where it needs to be uncovered Uh, but we won't leave you there. Yeah. And I think that's, um, 
really important to know also. Yeah. Love it. Oh, it's so excited. Yay. So all of this will get up. Um, there will be information on their websites and a landing page, right? All of these yep. things will go. So then when, Jessica, can they, well, I guess as soon as this podcast is up, they can, yeah. they'll already be all up there, right? Everything will be ready. So we can put in the show notes or just reach out to either one of us. Um, so you can kind of see, have the journey mapped out for you and and again not knowing your own personal destination but kind of seeing where this is taking you and you know I just want I mean of course it means it's all about energy but it is this energy of uncertainty right now and you know uncertainty is a beautiful thing because when you're not exactly sure where you're going you can end up in a place that is like pure magic right like yes and that's what is you know so if you're unsure yes, we feel you. And that's actually a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Hey, we did it. The secret yeah. is out. Oh my gosh. Now I can like tell everybody I don't need to keep it a secret. So Jess, what's up? Well, actually, <laughs> I know it's been so hard. We are now the rebirth doulas. Yes. Yes. Oh, so powerful. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, Yay. thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. We'll hopefully we'll talk to you soon and see see you you soon. (laughs) Bye.